Welcome back, everybody. Major developments this week in the case against Jeffrey Epstein. The Wall Street Journal releasing bombshell reports throughout the week laying out Epstein's alleged ties to a number of major names, including Bill Gates, Leon Black, and Woody Allen, among others. The latest reporting detailing Epstein's schedule from just one day on September 8th of 2014, showing the disgraced financier met with Gates, Black, Thomas Pritzker, and Mortimer Zuckerman, all in the space of just a few hours. So joining me now is one of the reporters behind this week's revelations, Wall Street Journal reporter Khadija Safdar. Excuse me. Uh, thank you for the reporting. Thank you for the story. Tell me what we learned in this series this week. I think what we learned is the names of new prominent people who were meeting Epstein after his 2008 conviction, um, which is when later on he became a um, registered sex offender. And I think um, what was surprising is also this the frequency and types of interactions that some of these people were having. I mean, in some cases, they were dozens of meetings. And then among his contacts that were known, um, we learned about the relationships and that they, in some cases, ran deeper. And we get a sense of the types of favors that were being traded. I'm really tempted to ask you how you got these documents is an incredible trove of data. I'm not going to ask you that. I'm tempted to ask you that because I'm covering the same story and we don't have them. It's a remarkable piece of reporting that you guys have laid out. And what strikes me is not only the, the repetition of these meetings, uh, but the, the frequency of contacts. I mean, he's doing this all day long, every day. He's building this empire minute by minute, hour by hour. And it, to me, it shows that this was a guy who very deliberately sought out to you know, insinuate himself in the very highest levels of power and money in this country. Is that how you read it? Yeah, I mean, I think it raises some serious questions about how someone like Jeffrey Epstein with like few qualifications and who is at this point a registered sex offender was able to penetrate these layers of society and associate with some of the most prominent people in their fields and in the country. Now, to be clear, you're not suggesting, and, and no one is suggesting, that all of these people, or even really maybe any of these people, were involved in the sexual wrongdoing that Jeffrey Epstein was accused of. Uh, what you're saying is these people were having meetings with him, and they were justifying those meetings as getting you know, philanthropic advice, getting uh, access to financing for charities, and that kind of thing. But you do wonder, you know, if you're a guy like Bill Gates, I mean, why do you need Jeffrey Epstein for advice on philanthropy? He has access to every philanthropic expert in the world, right? Yeah, I mean, that is kind of, that is the, those are the explanations we're getting from people. They're usually reasons tied to um, his connections or his wealth. Like Burns, who's the CIA director, he said that he met him back in the day for career advice. The Goldman's top lawyer said she wanted to meet him for contacts. A university president said, that they were looking for fundraising help. But you're right, I mean, it does make you wonder whether people are being truthful. But at this point, we don't have anything in the documents, as you said, to suggest anything beyond the reasons that people are giving. So I think at this point, we do have to rely on what they're saying to, yeah. to understand why they were there.